ஆழ்வார் எம்பெருமானார் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் லெட்டஸ் என்ஜாய் ஸ்ரீமன் நாராயணா பெரிய பெருமாள் வைபவம் குரு மீன்ஸ் ஒன் ஹூ ரிமூவ்ஸ் தி இக்னரன்ஸ் அண்ட் லீட்ஸ் ஒன் டு லைட் பகவான் being the one who mercifully removes the ignorance of all the jivatmas who desire for that and grants them moksha is fit to be called as acharya guru it is because of this reason he himself is present in our guru parampara at the top this is why our acharya stressed our guru parampara to be starting with shri man narayana saying lakshmi nada samarambham Bhagavan Sri Man Narayana has certain special identities, unique identities. He is the Divine Consort, Lord of Sri Mahalakshmi. He rides Garuda Vahana. He rides he lies down and rests on adi shesha he is known to have lotus eyes all of these are special and unique identities of parabrahma the supreme there are a few occasions where he remained as the acharya the guru in badrika ashramam he assumed two forms one as narayana rishi the acharya and two as nara rishi the shishya narayana rishi who is emberman himself taught tirumantram to nara rishi secondly he accepted the role of acharya to shri mahalakshmi and he taught dwaya mahamantram for shri mahalakshmi in shri vishnu lokam and thirdly he assumed the role of acharya in the mahabharata battle he taught shri bhagavad gita to arjuna and explained him all the important principles there is a special aspect of shri man narayana bhagavan he is stressed by vedam and vedantam as the supreme shri bhagavad gita which was spoken by bhagavan himself is another place where bhagavan elaborately explains his supremacy itihasas and puranas in great detail explain that bhagavan shri man narayanan is the supreme the great sages the rishis they identify shri man narayana as the supreme alvars in their divya prabandham identify shri man narayana as the supreme 
acharyas who come in the line of alvas they too identify shriman narayana as the supreme in this manner everyone glorifies bhagavan as the supreme for example in the vedam purusha suktam is considered as the most important part of vedam and in that shriman narayana is highlighted as the supreme specifically his main greatness is in vedam which is unauthored by anyone itself explaining shriman narayana as the supreme further parabrahmam bhagavan is said to be having qualities forms many wonderful activities and vibhutis wealth in the form of nitya vibhuti which is the spiritual realm paramapadam and leela vibhuti which is the material realm which is samsaram paramapadam is a place where he eternally resides along with sri mahalakshmi many other divine consorts nitya suris muktas and all it is filled with joy and bliss and there is no fault or shortcoming in paramapadam whatsoever it is for this reason paramapadam is called as vaikuntham which means the abode of no defects let us also see the five different states or forms of embermann this concept is known as paratvadi panchagam that is starting with paratvam there are totally five different stages in which bhagavan exists these are known as param vyuham vibhavam antaryami and archai param is the state of embermann in paramapadam paratvam he means there as paravasudevan with his divine consorts sri mahalakshmi sri bhudevi sri meera devi and so on nitya suri sir present muktas are present they all serve him joyfully there is no defect in this paramapadam it is totally existing for bhagavan's enjoyment the second state is vyuha state he remains there as vyuha vasudeva from vasudeva three different forms of embermann appears aniruddha pradyumna and shankarshana vyuha state also is related to shirabdi milk ocean where bhagavan is reclining on adishesha this is where he hears the complaints of devas and this is the place which is the root for all incarnations of bhagavan which takes us to the third state of embermann the vibhava state vibhava highlights the incarnations bhagavan assumes as said by namalvar enendra yoniyamai pirandai bhagavan appears in various species he appears as a celestial being he appears like 
he appears as a human being he appears as an animal he appears even as a plant and all of these are done out of his own desire for the protection and upliftment of jivatmas the next stage in vibhava avatarams one important thing we have to know is there are two types of incarnations avataras mukhya avatara and gauna avatara mukhya avatara means emperman as he is present in paramapadam with divine form which is not matter as we see here he appears with the same divine form in this material world also this is mukhya avatara he appeared as vamana he appeared as narsimha he appeared as rama he appeared as krishna and so on these are all mukhya avataras and then there are gauna avataras which means he gives his potency his shakti or his swarupa to a jivatma and works through that jivatma to attain certain to accomplish certain tasks for example he appears as parashurama which is a gauna avatara and he accomplishes the task of killing the evil kshatriyas similarly he appears as vyasa to give shastra so these are his gauna avataras the next state fourth state is is antaryami state antaryami means the super soul bhagavan brahmam parabrahmam being present in every entity whether it is atmas or matter in all entities he is pervading he is present as antaryami also in the hearts of yogis and great devotees bhagavan appears with his divine form for their worship the fifth and final stage is called archa avatara deity form where bhagavan appears in deity form in temples mats houses and so on in many divinations bhagavan is present when he assumes this archa avatara form he minimizes all his supremacy he hides them in and he only presents his saulabhyam the easy approachability anyone can come to a temple and worship bhagavan there they don't need any great abilities to do that so he manifests himself in such easily approachable form for everyone's benefit in this archavataram state he also though he is omnipresent omnipotent and omniscient he knows everything he has all the powers he keeps all his powers within himself and depends on the archaka the one who worships him he lets the archaka bathes him whenever the archaka performs tirmanjanam only then bhagavan baths when archaka presents the food offerings that is when bhagavan eats when the archaka changes the clothes which bhagavan is wearing that is when he changes his clothes so even though he is fully capable he makes himself to be fully dependent on the archaka this is glorified as a wonderful quality of bhagavan 
in his archavatara his simplicity and easy approachability is greatly shining and his supremacy is a little bit subdued this archavataram is greatly glorified by alvars and acharyas and the main center of archavataram for sri vaishnavas is sri rangam and the main deity sri ranganatha is known as periya perumal and it is this periya perumal who is sri man narayana sri man narayana himself has arrived as periya perumal for the upliftment of everyone and this periya perumal is the first acharya in our guru parampara thus we have enjoyed the greatness and glories of periya perumal alvar emberumana jiyar tiruvadigalai sharanam jiyar tiruvadigalai sharanam please download our koil k o y i l app from google play store or apple app store to listen to or download upanyasams like these our website portal is k o y i l dot o r g koil dot org